Welcome to Legacy Week, a week where we will be revisiting six of Yu-Gi-Oh's oldest and most iconic sets. Each day, I will open a 24-pack booster box made up of 25th anniversary packs, starting with Invasion of Chaos and continuing in reverse chronological order. Each day, we will total the number of foils pulled and the total value. Which set has what it takes to earn the title of Legacy Week Champion? Let's find out together. Welcome to the finale of Legacy Week. I hope you guys have enjoyed the other five videos. They have been absolutely insane in terms of pulls. Today we have Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, much anticipated. One of the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh sets ever created. Probably my second favorite set. Uh, don't forget the extra packs because, you know, box not quite big enough, but still really awesome packs. I'm excited to open this up. Want to remind you guys, sponsoring the 200K and the Legacy Week is Sassy Auto. So go check out his link down below for the booster boxes that will be coming out in July and get your own Legend of Blue Eyes booster box. Use my code for 5% off and uh, you guys can uh, get some pretty sick stuff. Hopefully some amazing pulls like we're about to get today. Fingers crossed. And also every card in this video is part of the giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below what you think will win. So now it's going to be between whatever's in first place right now and then Legend of Blue Eyes. So that's what you got to pick from. All right, let's get into the 24 pack Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon opening. This is going to be fun. And guys, don't forget, this is not the end of the 200K festivities. It's just the beginning. It's the tip of the iceberg. Many, many more things to come. I've not quite announced that special secret video coming out but it's gonna be pretty awesome we have yami king fog armail hitatsumi giants stop defense and uh, mammoth graveyard so we've kind of speculated that lob it's like it always feels like lob is worse for us it actually wasn't really when i looked at the numbers of it but let's see if it can turn around the perception here and have a great pull so our worst number of hollows was metal rage so we got four we got some good ones, but we only got four. We got nine out of Dark Crisis, so it was the most. So can we beat that? Can we get 10? I mean, that's a lot of foils for one, like, booster box. So I don't know if I expect it, but it would be really cool. We got Beast Fangs. We got a Cherubin, the Fire Knight, and a Sandstone. So we're starting off over two, so it's getting less and less likely that we're going to get 10 at this point. Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, I believe in you in the finale of Legacy Week. Hope you guys have enjoyed this entire week of Legacy Openings. If you have, make sure to subscribe because, you know, 200K, that's what we want to hit. There's also some big 200K videos coming up that'll be even better than this. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. Mystical Sheep, number two. We've got Monster Egg. Masaki. We've got Mizurizame. Where's the Yame? No, Carbonala Warrior. And uh, Kumutoko. So, we are starting it off with a big Ofer. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Also, I just realized this. I'm recording these all in a row. So, I'm going to have to, like, take a break after this for my voice. Like, my voice is dying. Man Eater. But we didn't pull Petite Moth in the Metal Raiders opening. Not at all. You know why? Rarest card in the game. Just saying. Numi Ruko. Rico. Numu Rico. I can never say that right. Final Flame and 13th Grave. Yep. I definitely jinxed us. LOB is going to be our worst opening yet. Oh boy. Legend of Blue Eyes. You heard me. Going to be terrible, right? Wink, wink. Nothing. Nothing in these packs, huh? Dark Energy. We will never pull anything good. Like a Blue Eyes White Dragon or a Dark Magician. Couldn't pull those. Green Phantom. We got Sparks. Oh, wait. Exodia? Oh, that, that's not going to happen. Surely not. Sparks. Frenzy Panda. We have Raised Body Heat. New Muriko. We got Giant Soldier of Stone and a Sandstone. I forgot to mention what cards I'm looking for, but then I kind of just mentioned them right there. But there's a lot of really great cards in this set. I mean, Ultra Rares, Super Rares. The Secret Rares are awesome. Trihorn, Guy the Dragon Champ. I mean, there's so many good ones. So hopefully we can get at least a couple of them, you know, for us. We got a Kagamusha, the Blue Flame. Basic Insect. Not the best insect. Most basic, maybe. Remove Trap. We've got Larvis, a very cool looking card. A Fast moving B bird like he's bird like what i guess the talons maybe creature that strangles opposing monsters with long thin arms it strangles people with those arms that look sharp it looks like it i don't know i don't agree with that description i'm just saying petite angel we have new muriko goblin secret remedy will it be our first foil yes a left leg of the forbidden one oh exodia horrible just what we don't want four more pieces till we complete the set all right guys that's a good start okay we missed a few to start but guess what ultra rare followed it up here we go one two three we have a mountain armored starfish we got power of kaishin mystical sheep numero dos skull servant silver fang what is that what does this guy say a snow wolf that's beautiful to the eye, but absolutely vicious in battle. Beautiful and vicious. You'd love to see it. Silver bow and arrow, a classic. Goblin secret remedy, restoring life points and dark 
energy so no foil there we are only at an ultra rare at the moment so we're hoping that we can turn this around have some amazing pulls come on guys send me the luck in the comments for the finale legacy week legend of blue eyes white dragon it's got to happen right now the finale of legacy week but it's really the beginning of the 200k special so we're getting really close at this point man eater we have wasteland king fog the root water Laser cannon armor. If you got, ooh, Rux, first Rux and special into a foil like all day. And I'm including all of Legacy Week, basically. Polymerization, super rare. That's a sick super. I love this card, especially in the first ed, like glossy or wavy. They look really, really good. All right, guys, that is a pull right there. Super and ultra looking good. It's been an epic Legacy Week. I've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun doing this. We have Petite Dragon. If you guys want to see something similar to this in the future, let me know in the comments. We have Yurabi, Electro Whip. We got two mouth Dark Ruler. He's got two mouths. He's also twin headed Thunder Dragon from Metal Raiders. Armail. Mizura Zame. Where's the Yame? We'll have to find out. Fissure. That's not a Yame. And Kumu Toka. What even is this guy? A massive intelligent spider that traps enemies with webbing. Sounds like a spider to me. Packs on packs on packs. Will we pull? A blue eyes white dragon i still have not pulled a dark magician for one of these packs so i would love to do that i mean that'd be cool i haven't pulled exodia either i don't think we have sogan yurabi i don't think i've completed exodia with all the packs i've opened power of kaishin we got yami mystical sheep numero dos silver bow and arrow vile germs we've got fusionist and fire grass the grass is on fire all right two packs left on this side we still got that means 14 packs left that's not bad we got a lot of opportunity to really turn this around to pull something amazing one two three if you guys want a booster box like this yourself make sure to check out the link down below we'll pre-order a sassy use five percent off discount code courtesy of the ruxinator all right we got succubus knight okay remove trap we have mystical moon and warrior numero uno fissure again i think we've got like three of those and Meta Bat. All right, it's not Meta Knight. It's Meta, Meta Bat. Okay, it's a sidekick, I guess. All right, last Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack on the right side. Then we got a whole 12 more packs, so don't fret. We'll pull something good. One Ultra, one Super so far. Pretty much on pace with all the Metal Raiders was doing. Actually, it was Secret and Ultra for that, so it's a little bit worse. Dark Gray. We got Flame Manipulator. Petite Dragon. Enchanting Mermaid. We've got the Trial of Nightmare, formerly known as Trial of Hell. Tyone. Laser Cannon Armor. Flame Ghost, and did we pull a foil here? Gaia, the Fierce Knight, Ultra Rare, another pull. That's three foils in the first half, two of them being Ultra Rares. I mean, it's a Gaia and a, like a limb, so it's probably the worst ones of the Ultras, but they're still really cool though. I mean, all the Ultras are good. Okay, that's a sick pull, but you know what? I would prefer Dark Magician Blue Eyes coming up to add on to it. I mean, I like Gaia. I do have a PSA 10 Gaia that I graded like three or four years ago. It's a really beautiful card in Glossy. Kumutoko, we got a wasteland. Follow wind, the wind, we must follow it. Frenzied Panda, what is he frenzied? He kind of reminds me of the Wampa in Star Wars, uh, Empire Strikes Back, yeah. Electro Whip, we have Machine Conversion Factory. Dragon is the Wicked Knight, can we get another foil here? Dark Magician, it has been pulled! Our first time pulling Dark Magician from the 25th anniversary. I asked, and guess what? I received three ultra rares. I think this is our first time to pull three ultras, except maybe Dark Crisis. And this is the one to do it on. I mean, all the ultras are really awesome. Dark Crisis was great. LOB's trying to eclipse that. Oh my goodness. Three amazing bulls so far. We're really four. Polly's good as well. Let's see if we can continue that and pull another ultra rare. We got Kagamusha, the man eater. He's eating men. Man, I gotta stop with that. Laser cannon armor. We have Petite Angel. Very small. Goblin Secret Remedy. Can we get a blue eyes right after the Dark Magician? Aura Gaia, the Dragon Champion! This is really turned up. We had two foils and we pulled like three in the last four. And they've been two ultras and a secret rare. Gaia, the Dragon Champion, Gaia, the Fierce Knight, and Dark Magician in the last like four or five packs. What a turnaround for LOB. The finale of Legacy Week. Wow. Talk about a good one. Finale of Legacy Week really showing out right now trying to become the best opening yet if you picked lob at the beginning you know picked on them to be the best opening you're feeling pretty good right now meta bat we've already got a secret three ultras and a super not bad skull red bird mystical sheep I i'm expecting a blue eyes white dragon a dark or a uh, red eyes or an exodia at this point silver fang he's a uh, snow wolf very nice numerico stop defense and the 13th grave 
I think I found out where all of our awesome pulls went, like when we were doing the live stream from LOB and we couldn't pull anything awesome. We did pull one blue eyes, which was pretty awesome. Spike Seedra. Okay, we got Power of Kaishin. Armored Starfish. The Larvis. Umi, what is on my finger right now? Did I spit on something? We got Misaki, probably. We have Hitatsumi Giants. Dragon is the Wicked Knight. And a Trip Wire Beast. Watch out for that Trip Wire. Still a lot of hope for the LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's do it. We have, we'll be careful. Mammoth Graveyard, Kagamusha of the Blue Flame, Green Phantom King, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Trial of Nightmare, our mail, our, our, our mail? I don't know. Turtle Tigre, we have Final Flame, and a mountain. So just a regular old mountain on that one. Nothing too crazy. Don't worry, guys. Many more packs to open up. Not many. I mean, we probably got like seven left, something like that. One, two, three. So a few more. Not many, but a few more. Dark Gray, and... <laughs> This guy should be named like Light Blue or something. I don't know. We got Kurama. We got Petite Dragon. Not Petite Moth, unfortunately. But Petite Dragon, not bad. Sparks, we have Red Medicine. The Silver Bow and Arrow, a classic. Machine Conversion Factory. Grave Digger Ghoul. And will there be a Blue Eyes White Dragon? No, but there is a Mystical Elf. Another foil. That gives us six. So we're right at like normal boxes, six to seven. So we're right in that range. And we still got a few packs left to eclipse that and maybe catch Dark Crisis. The funny thing is, I think Dark Crisis is probably like not even close to the best opening in terms of value, but it has the most foils. So we're trying to catch up to that. The foils is probably between Pharaoh's. I mean, it could be Pharaoh's Servant, could be Metal Raiders, could be Magic Ruler, Spell Ruler. I mean, it could be any of those. Spike Seedra. We have Yurabi. The One-Eyed Shield Dragon. One eye and he has a shield. Watch out. Dark World Thorns. The Yami. Fire Yaru. Okay. Fire Yaru. In Warrior. Numero. Uno. We got Goblin Seeker Remedy. Again, restoring those life points. And finally, Lesser Dragon. So he's lesser to the Blue Eyes. I feel like I said that last time then I pulled a Blue Eyes. So let's see if the Lesser Dragon will summon the Greater Dragon, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Or even the Lesser Dragon, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. How about that? Somewhat Greater Dragon, also somewhat Lesser. Kumutoka, Power of Kaishin. That's like Aquaman. We have Kurama, Mystical Sheep, Numerodos. Terra is a terrible. Hard armor. That armor is hard. Taihon, Fusionist. That's a nice little cat there. And Drooling Lizard. Nothing light, nice about this guy. I mean, he is he's straight drooling. He's got his tongue out. He looks a little bit rabid. I'm not going to lie. Four packs to go, guys. Four Legend of Blue Eyes packs left for Legacy Week, and then it's over. If you've enjoyed it, let me know down below. If you want to see something like this again, Legacy Week has been six days long. It's the last day, and on the seventh day, he rested. Here we go. We got Book of the Secret Arts. I will not be resting tomorrow, by the way. I'm just saying that. Okay, Ray and Temperatura. We got Yami. We got Ray's Body Heat. Laser Cannon Armor. Well, we pull something. We have Spirit of Zeharp and forest all right another forest this one in first edition has really awesome green it's fine like this but the first edition just has a really nice looking green one of my favorite colors three packs to go blue eyes white dragon we've already got your friend dark magician well he's your rival i guess want to pull that blue eyes white dragon let's do it we have exodia i'm manifesting you notice that we have book of the secret arts we have a monster egg because that was not exodia larvis silver fang Mizurazame Yame, we got Metal Dragon, and Drooling Lizard. Okay, Rabid Guy's back. Gotta believe, guys. We're, are we at six foil still? I think we're still at six. Let's get seven. Come on, Fiend Reflection number two. Green Phantom King, we got Yurabi. He's a dino. We got Terra. He's a terrible. Skull Servant. Petite Angel. Machine Conversion Factory. Giant Soldier of Stone and Spike Seedra. Okay, it all comes down to the final pack, the last pack of Legacy Week. If you guys have enjoyed this video and the series, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. The 200k special is not even close to getting started. We have, I mean, I guess it got started, but there's a lot more to come. It's going to be really awesome. You guys are going to see even more like actual old school, not just reprints. We're talking like old, old packs being open. It's going to be really fun. Don't forget to check out Sassy Auto's link down below. It supports me. It supports Sassy. And of course, you can get yourself some booster boxes which is pretty fun use my five percent discount code final pack here we go blue eyes white dragon in the last pack to end legacy week it would be the perfect story we have m warrior number two we've already got dark magician though which i never pulled out of 100 displays so that's a pretty good story anyway we have hinotama umi we've got remove trap masaki the legendary swordsman hitatsumi giant we have a flame ghost and our final card from this opening and legacy week is 
the meta bat. So we're going to be checking out Meta Knight and Kirby from now on. Thanks again for enjoying Legacy Week. I appreciate all you guys that were watching. And don't forget, we've got more coming up for 200k. So I'm excited to see you guys there. Shout out to Toe and Foe Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas Plain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.